Shalom, shalom. Um, this is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and greetings and blessings to all the sincere Akia throughout the four corners of the earth, <clears throat> Salakia, that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives to do so. Okay, this is um, verse of the week uh, number two. Okay, and like you can see here, um, the monotone is vengeance. Okay, and um, hey, you know, um, we believe in a higher power, and uh, as well as uh, the majority of the uh, of the children of Israel. And when I say children of Israel, I mean the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whether it be one third or two third. You know. Deep down in your spirit, you know that there's a God and um, there's a day of reckoning coming. And it's uh, uh, rapidly approaching. And that's why you see uh, uh, the spirit of brothers who teach the word, it's leveling up. And you also, you see the folly and the myrrh uh, leveling up. Okay. And the reason that the men that teach the word are leveling up is because we're commanded to. But also it's through the spirit because the heavenly father is about to make his return. And then when you see the myrrh and the happiness leveling up, it's because people want to be oblivious to it and they want to turn a blind eye to it. <clears throat> Nonetheless, that doesn't uh, relinquish that the heavenly father is extremely pissed. OK, but um, the monotone of this one is uh, the vengeance that the heavenly father would take um, against the heathens, man. OK. Um, and, you know, uh, the scriptures are fully document how all the other nations have put pure hell on us. OK. But um, all the other nations outside of Esau or Edom, the, the punishment or the hell they put on us is, is minuscule comp compared to what uh, the Edomites have done to us over uh over um over a extended period of time man they've um, had a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel okay and this track record uh wraps around the the globe um maybe three or four times man his his rap sheet of what he's done to our nation man it's it's just uh uh it's just sad man and um like you see here, um, uh, the Most High uh, will repay, repay vengeance, man, especially to those that touch the apple of his eye, which are the children of Israel, okay? So um, what you see now is the Most High putting all the chess pieces in place, okay? He's sending out his prophets early, um, rising early. Uh, like you can see, it's 8, 11 in the morning. You know, the Spirit got on me to, you know, do this, man. Um, but it just validates the scriptures, Okay, so he sent his prophets out early, man, to warn, warn uh, first and foremost the other nations that uh, it's gonna be a transfer of power. Okay, power is gonna go from the Edomites to the Israelites, and that's plain. Like we're getting straight to the point now. Now that we're coming down the pipe, you know, not not as if we cut corners, you know, because the uh, 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 the elder apostles they didn't teach us that way. They taught us to be straightforward. And that's what we're doing, man. We're being straightforward about this and telling, look, you so-called white people, okay, you Edomites, the nation of Edom, you're going down and you're going down hard and you shall never rise again. And you're going to go into captivity for a thousand years and then you're going to be abolished, okay? As a people, as a race, as a nation, and, and rightfully so, because you are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And when there's a kingdom of righteousness, there's no need for wickedness, Okay. But um, first and foremost, you have to pay for what you've done, okay? And the Heavenly Father is not slack concerning his promise. And it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, okay? Whose name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, okay? So even though these devils don't believe it or could care less, well, really, they 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 care, okay? It's just that their pride has deceived them. Their pride has them in derision, Okay? But that doesn't relinquish the fact that the Most High is going to crush, crush their nation, man, and crush all these other heathens. But for now, we we'll focus on Esau, man, because why he's the major player. 
He's the, he's he's uh one of the top characters under the nation of Israel in the scriptures. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the uh, scripture. No, be too long. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 22 and 13. It says, "Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness." Okay, and hey, <clears throat> that's the mo of the so-called white man. Okay, not only do that to the nation of Israel, but he did it to all the other nations. Okay, but we focus on the nation Israel. We don't give a shit about the other nations. Fuck them. They're going into slavery too. Okay, so it says, "Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness." And his house is his abode. And when you when you when you speak of house on a on a on a wider scale, it's your rulership or your dominion. Okay, your domicile, your kingdom, and every nation on this on this planet can admit to the fact that the so-called white man. Built his house by the sea, okay. E everywhere he's been, he he's built his house on deceit, robbery, rape, and, and pillage, man. Okay. But he did it to the wrong people. He did it to the Israelites. So as a uh, uh, prerequisite or a recompense, the heavenly Father says, "Woe unto him," okay, because it's um, it's is fully documented that he built it America. Or all his kingdoms, Rome, Greek, off of, off of unrighteousness. Okay, let's just look into that word unrighteousness real quick. Uh, looks like Tazadak. Tazadak. Oh, Tazadak. Okay, it says. Uh, so it says unrighteousness. Okay. Yeah, so it's Tazadak. Uh, it says justice, rightness, righteousness. What is right or just or normal right, rightness, justness of weights and measures, righteousness in government of judges, rulers, kings of law, okay, of Davidic king, Messiah. So you get the point, man. But here it's saying unrighteousness. So it's the opposite of these. So it's the lack of justice, the lack of rightness, the lack of righteousness. What is wrong or what is unjust or unnormal or unrightness or unjustness, okay? The lack of weights and measures, okay? So that's that's it. That's it in a nutshell. That's Esau, man. That's that's Esau, okay? He says, War unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong, okay? Uh that useth his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work. Okay. And when you when you read that, the first thing that pops out is the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. Also the uh uh the enslavement of the indigenous people of, of South Central and North America. Okay. That is how Esau got his riches by deceit and by enslaving a whole nation of people. And not paying them wages, man, which is absolutely wicked, man. And that's how you become rich, to get people to work for you without having to pay them. Okay, like you start a company, you get an investment, okay, and you start up a company and then you hire your employees and you don't pay them shit, man. What type of capital or gain are you set to receive, man? You know? And that's why you can't give this devil credit because he, he got it by unrighteousness. Here it is, the Most High gave us over into his hands to be his servants, okay? In which he was supposed to feed us and, and, and give us wages. But he, he, hey, he decided not to, man. So guess what? Like the scripture said, Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, okay? Because there are laws on how to deal with servants, which we were given over to the, uh, to the uh, nation of Edom to be servants, but he totally disregarded it. And because why? Because he's an unrighteous piece of shit, man. Hey, but that's neither here nor there. Because the Heavenly Father says, Woe unto him that built his house by unrighteousness. Okay? So um, hey, like the monotone vengeance, man. <laughs> like the movie, uh, the uh uh Don't Be a Menace, you know you done fucked up, right? That's what it is, and uh it can't be turned back. Okay, can't turn you can't turn it back. Um, your scriptures also 